All right, I've got a Windows 10 machine that I'm setting up right now, and it wants me to sign in with a Microsoft account. It almost looks like it's mandatory, and I do not like companies that force you to do things that you don't want to do. I don't want a Microsoft account. I've seen Windows 10 with other Microsoft accounts, and they're annoying. There's pops up, pop-ups, and a lot of things that I don't want. So I'm going to try to bypass this. On the screen, we have Create Account, which I'm going to click on right now. We're going to see what happens on this new machine. Create Account. And let's see. Setting up this Windows 10 machine, I do not want to set up a Microsoft account, a Windows account. I want to do the old style where we would just log in with the username and a password. When you set up the Microsoft account, you have to log in with an email or a phone or a Skype account. And if you do that, then you're able to download paid apps, paid applications, paid programs that you'll get from the Microsoft Store. If you have no plans to do that, if you're going to use your Windows 10 machine like you've always used your Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows, I think, 8, Windows 3, 3.1, uh, I think there was even a Windows 2 and maybe a 1. If you just want to log in with a username and password, you can do that. And the way to do that is you click on offline account. Originally, when they set this up, you couldn't do this. But now, so many people complain. Microsoft is allowing you to do this where you click on offline account. And uh, let's see what we're going to get. Complete your Windows setup by signing in with Microsoft. They just don't want to make this thing easy for us, do they? I'm going to click in a free Microsoft account. So I don't want to do Outlook, Office, Skype, OneDrive, Xbox, Bing, Store, MSN. So I'm just going to click on Windows and we'll see what we get. We get nothing. You just have to click on Yes. Just a moment. And here we go back to the circle. Which was a little tricky until I saw what they were doing. I clicked on Create Offline Account and I get this screen up here. No, I don't want to sign in with Microsoft, so I'm going to click No down at the bottom. And let's see what we get. Who's going to use the PC? There we go. So that's how you get around setting up a Microsoft online account for Windows 10. And we will continue setting up my new computer. After you put in the username you want, then it wants a password. The same that we did before. And then I remember on the older Windows, they had a security question, and I don't remember if you had to an answer it. I think you could bypass it, or you could just put in some stupid answer that you would remember. Um, they still are pushing the online account, so you're going to have to do, you probably have to do the three questions. Okay, it is mandatory. You do have to put three questions in there. Now they're talking about Cortana being your personal assistant. Now, from what I read, I don't know if it's true, but from what I read, if you set up Cortana, you need to have an online account with them. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? It's going to want to include your location, history, voice input, speech patterns, contacts, Searching history of relationships, calendar details, emails, content, and communication, history from text messages, instant messages, and apps, and other info on your device, and browsing history. I don't really want Microsoft to have any of that stuff, so I'm not going to set up Cortana. I don't need it. Typical for Microsoft, after I said I did not want them to have any of that info and I did not want to set up that Cortana, then they give me a list of everything that they want access to. And if I did not click no on all of it, they would have gone in and had all the info that I just said I didn't want them to have. So I click no, and now I will do accept. I am assuming that this is not part of Microsoft now. It's an Acer machine, and I can log in and set up my Acer machine, which is something I really do want to do. And we're almost finished. It's setting up the machine now that I gave it my name and my email address.